Imagine stepping back into the ice age where massive predators roam the frozen plains. Today, cutting edge science is blurring the line between fantasy and reality, partially reviving one of the most iconic ice age beasts, the dire wolf. Can the same tricks bring back dinosaurs? Let's dive in. De-extinction is the dream of resurrecting extinct species using genetic engineering. Instead of inventing a time machine, scientists mine ancient DNA and stitch it into the genomes of living relatives. But as we'll see, bringing back a species is more complicated than Hollywood movies make it look like. For example, Jurassic Park. You can see all those big dinosaurs lurking in, right? We'll see about that. Recently, we have a partial resurrection of a species called dire wolf, and the breakthrough happened in early 2025 by Colossal Biosciences. It announced three wolf puppies, Rolomus, Remus, and Khaleesi, engineered by editing gray wolf DNA, which had the same dire wolf genes. They carry triads like a bulkier frame and pale, dense fur. If you're curious about how it worked, here it is. The first one was DNA extraction. Fragments from 13,000 years old direwolf fossils were sequenced. The second was gene editing. Using CRISPR, C -R -I -S -P -R, researchers spliced 20 direwolf variants into a grey wolf genome. Third is surrogacy. Embryos were planted into a dog mother's, yielding heavy, curious pulps. And the catch is, these pulps are not pure dire wolves. They're mostly grey wolf DNA with a sprinkle of dire wolf triads, and critics argue they're more dire inspired than true de extinted animals. And if you think why true de extinction is hard, it's because of genome authenticity. Only about 0.1% of the pulp's DNA is actually dire wolf. That small fraction can tweak appearances, but not revive the full ice age predator. The second is ecological fit. Direwolves thrive in Pleistocene ecosystem. Today's forest, prey spaces, and climates are entirely different. Would these hybrids survive or even belong? That's a different question. Now, let's get back to our mighty dinosaurs. And the major question is, can we resurrect the creatures that vanished 66 million years ago? Here's why dinosaurs remain out of reach for us. The first issue is about DNA degradation. Over millions of years, DNA breaks down. Under the best condition, it lasts only about a million years. Far short of the dinosaur's era. The second one is no surrogates. Direwolf pups use dogs, close relatives. Dinosaurs have no living analogs. Birds are their descendants, but too genetically distant to carry out dinosaur embroil. The third is genetic chasm. Dinosaurs diverse from birds and reptiles over 200 million years ago. We simply lack the complete genetic blueprint of dinosaurs to bring them back. For enthusiasts, there might be a question like, can't we bring back bird-based dinomorphs? Well, Here's some good news. Some scientists toy with editing bird genomes to switch on ancient traits, teeth, tails, claws. You might end up with a dinomorph, a bird with T-Rex-like features, but these creatures would be hybrids, not true dinosaurs. Now, let's discuss about ethics and ecosystem. Whether it's wolves or dino birds, the extinction raises big question. The first is animal welfare. What quality of life will these engineered creatures have? The second one is ecological impact. Could they disrupt modern ecosystems? And the third one is conservation trade-offs. Should we spend millions on recreating on lost species or focus on saving those still with us? Here's the bottom line from my side. We're witnessing the dawn of a new biological frontier. Colossals, direwolves hint that what's possible, but also remind us of de-extinction's limits. 
As for dinosaurs, until they crack a 66 million year old genetic code and find a suitable surrogate, Jurassic Park will stay on the silver screen. Well, it's not a bad news, even if we can bring back a bird-like dinosaur, but the science is thrilling. But with great power come great responsibilities. What species would you want to see revived and should we? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the wonders of modern science. Till then, see you next time.